Hi, this is Charting Man Dan of TheChartGuys.com, home of technical analysis education. Click the link for a free week trial, no credit card required, and gain access to our multiple live broadcasts daily, community chat room, educational videos, nightly watch lists, and more. Invest in your education and future and join the community today. Hello everyone, looking at SPY on the daily and weekly time frame. So further weakness today, and that was dictated by the data release this morning before the bell. And the bears took over again. Lots of downside, lots of bearish entry opportunities. Breaking the low of Friday was big for me personally. 216.25, that shows me weakness. The bulls maintain the lower Bollinger Band support as these Bollinger Bands continue to tighten. No denying that any red day, the bulls are buying these dips. But the trend is bearish because we have all the 10-day and the middle Bollinger Band moving average resistances. We're setting lower lows, lower highs. But as we know, it's just one big bull day away from completely turning things around. We have the jobs report coming out tomorrow morning. That's going to be a big factor. We'll see. And the way things are going with rate hikes running the market, when we have bullish data released, it's almost like we see a bearish reaction because that means it's more likely we see a rate hike sooner. So we'll be watching that early tomorrow morning pre-market. We'll be covering it live pre-market on webcam. And if we break the low of today, 216.03, we're looking at the 50-day moving average in the low 215s. And we're looking for a day to indicate some bearish strength that without a close showing a lower wick. So one time since Brexit right here, oh, there it is right here, August 16th, we had a bear day and a close near the low. Every other bear day has a lower wick showing bulls buying the dip by the close. That absolutely stands out to me, and we're going to look for that pattern to change, but as of right now, it is still occurring. And the past couple days, it's like clockwork. End of the day, bulls run it up, and that's just the pattern that's been playing out. And there's certainly some nice money to be made playing a pattern as long as it works, and then once it stops working, the first time it doesn't work, you move on and look for different patterns. So the weekly time frame for SPY is a indecision doji, neither bullish nor bearish. At the 10-week moving average support of 216.26, a couple weeks of consolidation and normal and healthy at this point. No red flags on the weekly time frame in terms of the trend changing. So need to keep that in mind when looking at the daily chart. The daily chart does show signs of the trend changing just by losing those supports and seeing a little bit of a rounded out top. But you look at the weekly and say, if the bulls are going to continue to hold this 10-week moving average, we're going to bounce here on the daily and be headed to new all-time highs. So tomorrow will be very telling. If we see a bearish reaction and close below this 10-week moving average, that will absolutely be weak, weak heading into next week. So tomorrow morning is going to be pretty important. And we have all kinds of resistance levels to be watching. The hourly moving averages are resistance. Those 218.60s, I keep bringing up key resistance levels. We'll check back in tomorrow and see how the week wraps up. Have a great night.